What is this? A carrot? Do I, am I really about to spend $104 on Wish products that I don't need? I guess so. <laughs> it says mold. <gasps> oh no. Today I'm gonna be buying and testing out iPad accessories from Wish. If you're new here, I'm Tyler, AKA Tylee Talk, and on this channel, I design, redesign, and critique logos. So if that's something you're into, then definitely subscribe. So I use my iPad in almost every single video to make my logos or showcase them. So I thought it'd be fun to go on Wish and see what kind of wild iPad accessories they have on here. I think I'm gonna be looking for like Apple pencils, anything for Procreate, just unique items that I've never seen before for my iPad. So it knows me a little bit because I've been, I just was searching for some stuff to see if there was enough stuff to make a video. So it's kind of got, you can already see we've got an iPad case and this looks like a fidget spinner pen. Okay, but it's only a dollar. I feel like I should get this. Okay, we're already off to a interesting start. I don't need this fidget spinner pin, but it looks fun. I definitely wanna get some kind of glove like this. These are supposed to be good for like drawing so that your other two fingers don't um, touch the screen when you're drawing. The size is small, medium, large. I feel like I would need like a medium. So like one piece medium. Okay, let's get that. Okay, so I definitely want to get like a dupe iPad pencil. So I'm gonna get something like this. This one is definitely trying to be an exact dupe of this. So why don't we add that and see, it says it works with iPad Pro third gen, which is what I have. Maybe I'll type in iPad accessories and just see what comes up. I've seen a bunch of like cases and stands, but I don't really need any of that stuff. And so unless we see one that just looks absolutely wild, I think we probably won't get anything. Like this could be funny, but at the same time, I guarantee you that this is not gonna actually hold my entire iPad up. And why do I need this? All right, it's $6, let's add it. Ooh, purple, wait, I want purple. Something like this, these like tips, I believe, the whole purpose of them is just to like make it be like less glidey so you can have straighter, sharper lines. So that could be something to test out. And then I wonder if there's like a case or a cover for the Apple Pencil. All right, should we get purple on this as well? Why not, right? I've seen people use these a lot, but I think we already, since we already have the case and the tip, maybe we could try them and just see if they like actually help drawing. I feel like in in middle school, everyone used to buy those for their pencils and like it was a whole thing you could buy at the bookstore. I never bought books from the bookstore. I only bought like cool pencils and pencil sharpeners and rubber thingies for my pencils. <gasps> what is this? A carrot? Okay, we gotta get this too. Ooh. Wow, a little leather case. The only thing with something like this is that, what's the point? Because you have to put it, like to keep it charged, you have to put it on the iPad. Okay, well this has turned into like a mostly Apple Pencil <laughs> accessories <laughs> video, I guess. What is this? These are all cute. Okay, I had no idea there was such a big world of Apple Pencil uh, cases. So I guess this is where Wish really gets you, is that each item is its own shipping cost. Do I, am I really about to spend $104 on Wish products that I don't need? I guess so. Okay, it's been three weeks and all of everything is here, I believe. And it came a lot faster than I thought it would. So they actually have on each one like a description of what it is, but none of them, well, this one says stylus pen. So that one is actually correct, but one of them, <laughs> It says mold. <laughs> so we'll see what that one's supposed to be. I don't know why if they do that like through for like customs or whatever, you have to say what is in the packaging because clearly all of these are not from the United States. So I guess I'm just gonna talk about the quality of them and get my first impressions. Okay, up first is this little one. It says pen. My producer's in the background. I believe I think I know what this one is. Yeah, it's it has nothing to do with graphic design, but it's a fidget spinner that's also a pen and a stylus. 
Oh, well that would work faster than I thought it would. No, I think it, wait, this one looks like a light. Oh, that's kind of cool. I love how it looks and feels in my hand, but let's see if the stylus works on Procreate. Okay, so it does pretty well. The only difference is that it doesn't have any pressure sensitivity. So all the lines are the exact same thickness, no matter what brush I'm using. It is fun to play with though. One of these is supposed to be an iPad tripod, like thingy that you can put the iPad on. And I have no idea. I think it would be this one, but it looks so small for, how, for what it actually is. So let's try this one. It says fixed bracket. Yeah, that's not gonna fit my iPad. This is pretty sturdy actually. I'm having a really tough time getting this open. In fact, I don't think I'm gonna be able to open it at all, unfortunately, to even test it, to see if it holds the iPad up, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think it would really work even if I could get it to work. Oh, okay, we got that. So let's screw it onto the table. It just barely fits on there with the iPad. There is no way this is gonna work. Okay, for a phone, sure, but for an iPad, it just will not hold it up, plain and simple. This one says USB cable, which I did not order a USB cable. Did I? No, I didn't. Oh, these are like tips to go over top of your pencil. I'm not really sure what these are supposed to be for, except to protect the tip, I guess. It's hard to get out, so let's use the pen. Okay, using it, it does seem to feel pretty much the same as without it, but when you tap on some parts of the screen, it doesn't always tap where you want it to or when you want it to. So it definitely takes away some of the sensitivity of the pencil, I think. This one, I believe, yeah, the drawing gloves. So this is basically like gloves, but your pinky or your regular pointer finger and your thumb are out. Just got the hiccups. So you just slip it on like this. It goes on your pinky and index finger. Oh, wow. I actually really like how this is feeling when I draw. For clean, swift lines or tracing something, I could see myself using these actually a lot. Unfortunately, it does connect with the edge of the case sometimes, so it leaves kind of like a harsh line. But if you don't have a case on there, I think this could really be useful and definitely save your hand from cramping. This one, this is the one that says necklace. Oh boy, that was bent. Oh, cute. This is a carrot pen. There's a gap, but it is very cute. Oh, it still charges. Wow. So if you didn't have a case, it would still work with the carrot on there. So that's nice to know. <gasps> oh no. Well, <laughs> that's ruined. No. Better come off now. Well, now I can just rip it off. It's just breaking. <laughs> and here's the damage. <laughs> it is in 10 pieces. Do I want to do the box? This one is another case. <laughs> It looks like it's the exact same company. That's what was in the box? Yeah. Just that? Yeah, the other one was literally in this. Oh, this one's a lot easier. I mean, it's the same thing. I don't know what else I expected it to be. It's cute. I don't think I'd ever use it though. This is the one that says mold. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure this one's another case. <laughs> No, it's supposed to be genuine leather. I mean, it's kind of cute, even though it is pointless. Like, why do I need this? It literally attaches to the iPad. This one, I believe, is, yeah, the pencil grips. It fits tight over the pen, which I like. It feels okay in my hand, but the rubber is so hard. I don't really notice a difference with it, except that I can't see the tip of the pen, which is kind of a negative because I need to see where I'm drawing. And of course it's kind of hard to get off and I actually feel like I'm gonna break the pencil right now, which I don't love. Okay, and the last one, <laughs> it's a fake Apple pencil. <laughs> like a knob friend, I'm assuming. Is that what it says? Oh, uh, it says, this one says stylus pen, so I'm assuming. They really beat this, these boxes up in transit. Really similar. <laughs> Instead of where the where it says Apple Pencil up here, this one has a, a power button. Okay, this actually looks really similar to the Apple Pencil. 
So all the instructions had to do is turn it on and off with this button. And it does nothing. Maybe I can connect it to Bluetooth somehow? Okay, this is the only one that pops up. Oh, it connected. And still nothing. So that is my wish haul all complete. Honestly, I'm gonna say I'm pretty disappointed with almost everything I bought today, but it is Wish, so I think that's kind of to be expected. I was hoping some of the things would be a little more fun, and it was very disappointing that all the packages like fit in my hands, especially for over $100. I think honestly, my favorite one of the day is the glove. It actually worked so well when I was drawing with it and the lines were just so smooth and I could definitely see myself using this again for when I need to get those very clean straight lines. I also really love this one, even though I will literally never use it because the pencil attaches to my iPad, but I just think it has, it looks really cute with the pencil in there and feels old timey. Also the most fun thing I bought is definitely the fidget spinner. Um, it looks cool and the stylus actually does work. So I could, I mean, I would never use the stylus part, but I could definitely see it myself using it just as a fidget spinner. I think the worst thing has to be the fake Apple Pencil knockoff. I mean, it does really look like the Apple Pencil, but it literally doesn't work. So there's no point to using it at all. <laughs> well, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And let me know in the comments which product you wanna try the most. And if you have any other ones, let me know.